<laughs> so then, and then my favorite pedal of all these pedals is the old Boss EQ. Man, I got that pedal. It's really noisy. Well, you got to get them modded. What's the mod? Yeah, they just quiet them down. They can, you can go in and get all the hiss out of them. Right? Oh, this one's yeah. actually is not even modded, but but I've got a bunch that are. But here's why I love this pedal, right? It, it, like I, I basically could get by with just this pedal, because it's like I use it's the best solo boost pedal of all time. Huh. But like if you just bump the mid range and then goose the gain a little bit, and then you kick it on when you play it solo, the whole world knows you're playing a solo on a live gig. Right. It's got just the right amount, like everyone's always asking, what's the best boost pedal or whatever? Boss EQ, $40, $40 pedal, best boost pedal ever made. So like if you're just playing like, you know, a riff, right? playing at 335 on a live gig that extra mid-range bump you just turn the guitar to the amp just a little bit you get the perfect octave up controllable feedback oh that's great and you bend and just perfect octave up happens yeah. there it is it's even there and then that's how you know that's what's great about these you know and they've got so much gain i mean from at unity gain at five this thing will crank like <laughs> But that's not all I use the Boss EQ for. I use it for um, a lot more than that. Like you can turn the neck pickup of a 335 or a Les Paul, which is usually a pretty woofy sound, instantly into a Gretsch by doing this. You know, cutting the 400 but boosting the bass and then boosting the top, right? Like, so here's a neck pickup of a, let me tune this thing. Okay, so here's like your normal neck pickup sound. also do fun stuff like this like this gas the mids all the way completely put a little bit of other distortion which is like amazing for certain parts right you know, I love lo-fi uh, totally goosed EQ <laughs> 